ladies and gentlemen, VLC Media Player is the best invention since string cheese. I'm telling you guys, it could play pretty much every audio and video formats, like, and it could do a lot of other stuff, which I'm going to show you guys how to do in this video tutorial. So first off, I want to start off by showing you guys how to download it. Go to the link in the video description. Videoland.org slash VLC. And it should look something like this. Just select your operating system, just click on it, save and run the um the thing that opens up, and then just download it, and there you have it, VLC Media Player. And it's free. Overall it's free, which makes it even awesomer. And over here, look, it says VLC downloads. And so far it says 93, 93,552,000 plus people have downloaded VLC Media Player. <coughs> um, over here it says 2.6 downloads per second. So basically almost 3 people are downloading VLC Media Player every second. It's crazy. That's how popular VS VLC Media Player is. It's just, it's awesome. So, um, as I said, not only can it play every single video, or mostly, all, 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 mostly all <laughs> uh, video and audio formats, it can also um, um, stream or, or run live television. And all you have to do is do this. Just go to View, um, Playlists, Manage, Service Discovery, and now you could choose Shoutcast radio listings or Shoutcast TV listings. It does. It could stream live radio or live TV. I'm just going to choose TV. And it should take a second to download and it should come up with something like this. Just click the plus and all of this should open up. Now I'm just going to choose one just to show you guys. Let's see. Let's choose The Office. Okay and just wait for it and it's some random guy doing his own TV show okay I'm guessing he's not English well where er, he doesn't speak English well um there it is it streams live television you could choose anything and well yeah you could also choose um, radio there's live radio listings that you could choose from and just basically do the same thing you just have to go to manage service discovery Shoutcast radio listings. It should take a second to download. Just click the plus and it gives you all these different variety. Let's go to 80s. Click on that, or double click on it actually. And even more items pop up in the playlist. Just wait for it. Okay, now click the plus on 80s and all these radio channels pop up. Now I'm going to choose uh, uh, 181 point FM. Double click on that and all these pop up so let's click on the first one wait for it and VLC will start playing it as you see it streams a live um, video or er, radio too so it's crazy that's VLC media player Another thing that you could do is actually rip DVDs um, off of VLC Media Player. So let's say you're playing a DVD. All you have to do is go to File, Open Disk, wait for it to pop up, and then click DVD. I don't want the menus, but you could choose menus if you want. And over here, the title. Sometimes DVDs have commercials in the beginning. So what you want to do is click the title zero and then press OK and then check if that's where your DVD starts well if you want the commercials just leave the title at zero but if you just want the the movie then uh, keep going up and then press OK and check if that's where the movie starts and just keep doing that for this example my movie starts at zero so all you have to do is click stream slash save and go to settings um, <clears throat> then over here press on file then browse to where it's going to where you want to save the file I'm just going to save it to my desktop as uh, rip dvd dot mp4 I want to make it an mp4 file so I can play it on my phone so 
Then, just choose over here. Over here, I'm just going to choose MP4 since I already named it not MP4. But, um, when you guys are doing it, I want to, if you guys just want the normal DVD, I suggest the MPEG. Uh, I suggest MPEG ones. Don't I don't suggest ASF or OGG. So yeah, then click on video codec. I'm just used to using DivX, so I'm just gonna choose Div3. And bitrate is how big the quality, how how much the quality, how good the quality is on the video. If you, the big, the higher the quality, the bigger the video file is. So for those who want high quality, uh, just know that the video file will be bigger. So I'm just going to choose the highest quality there is, and then click on audio codec, change the audio type to MP3. Then the bitrate is the video qual or the audio quality, so I'm just going to put it on 512. And if you click play locally, you could watch it while it's ripping it, but um, it does. If you unclick play locally, if you don't want to watch it while it's ripping it, it ta it goes a lot faster. Then just press OK, and OK. And it will create a file. It will well right now it says um, it's an error. It, it says unable to open the DVD because I, I don't have any DVD inside. But when you press OK and OK, it will make a file in where it will make a file where you wanted it to make the file, and it it would start ripping it. And over here it will say how many how much of the video or the how much of the DVD it has already ripped. Right here in this section it would say. For example, two minutes of two hours, it has already ripped, and just let it, um, just uh, let it go throughout the two two hours of the whole movie, and it will rip it all. And there you have it. <clears throat> so another thing that you could do with VLC Media Player is actually um, change the video type or audio type.